Little girl seemed to have discovered something in the forest and hurried to catch up, but stumbled and hit her head hard on a rock. Losing consciousness, a hungry wolf ran over, but instead of attacking Zoe, it rubbed against her. Then a lion also rushed over and just smelled her feet. Several hours passed, but Zoe still didn't wake up. The wolf and lion kept circling around her and never left. The two beasts howled and called for help, but there were few people in the forest, and no one came to help, so they stayed close to Zoe all night and never left. The next morning, Zoe's grandfather found her. Seeing the two beasts standing majestically by her side from a distance, he was afraid to approach and could only call the police. Zoe was then taken to the hospital. When Zoe woke up, she learned that the wolf and lion she had raised were captured by the police. She was worried about their safety, so she secretly ran out of the hospital to find them. Zoe first went to the forest police station, but she couldn't see the wolf and lion. She was scolded and kicked out by the police for privately raising wild animals. She had raised the wolf and lion from a young age, and she wouldn't give up easily. Then she thought of the endangered animal protection center, and 